Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'll be showing just a tiny bit of the costume construction at the end of the video, but this is mainly a face-up video. Stay tuned to the end to see some photos of the final look. This is one of the dolls that I made for my last convention, and she was one of my convention value dolls where I was able to offer her at a lower price point because I gave her a wig and a simple costume. So since the theme of that convention was Mad Monster Party, I thought it would be the perfect time to do another Lydia Dietz. I've done a couple of other Lydias, but this one is the cartoon version. And so I'm using Draculara for this one. And I gave her a few coats of Mr. Super Clear. She gave, laid in the shape of the eyes with some white. And then I'm working in the outer shape with the black watercolor pencil giving her a little bit of a closer an eye her eyes a little bit more closed so you can see the eyeshadow detail that Lydia has and then what I was doing there was adding a little bit of white to lighten up the um, skin tone which I'll do a couple of more times the Lydia in the cartoon seems to have like a white skin so I just wanted to lighten it up a little bit So for the eyeshadow, I'm going in with the classic uh, pink and purple coloring from the cartoon, but I'm giving it a little bit of a, my style and some uh, realism a little bit. So I'm adding some white to highlight the center of the eyelid and leaving the pink dark in the crease of the eyelid. I'm just blending that out a little bit with some colorless blender. And then I'm darkening in the crease with a sort of a magenta color watercolor pencil. And now I'm going in with the purple. The purple eyeshadow in the cartoon has a specific shape to the eyeshadow. And it's just kind of like a little triangle shape or just geometric shape for the top part of the eyelid. So I'm just mimicking that onto this. I'm carrying that purple a little bit into the bottom lash line and just blending it out with this soft tiny round brush so for her lips I'm using a a little bit of red mixed with some pink and white to make a custom color for her her lip color just so it isn't as bright red as the red that I have and then I'm just darkening up that eyeshadow a little bit more the brush that I'm using here is a round brush that I'd cut down to make it into like a stencil brush so it, it blends pretty well in small areas So just a reminder that the supplies that I use are in the description box below along with affiliate links. So if anyone makes any purchases through those links, whether or not it's a product you clicked on, we will get a small commission for that sale. So it's helpful to me. And so for those of you who have done that already, thank you so much for doing that. Also, I made a special supplies video where I show you the supplies that I use most often. So make sure to check that out and I'll put it in the iCard. So here I'm using a Caran d'Ache watercolor pencil, Museum Aquarelle, to darken up the lines of the lips. And then this is a black Prismacolor that I'm using for, it's a, these are all watercolor pencils of course. I was using a black Prismacolor and now uh, the Derwent. The Derwent tends to be a little softer so it makes a little darker of a line. So sometimes I'll go in with the Prismacolor first and then uh, darken it up with the Derwent when I know that I don't need to erase. So 
So here I'm just adding a little bit of highlights around the lips. Just blending out that color a little bit more. So for the eye color, I wasn't sure what color her eyes are. I think in the cartoon they're black, maybe. So I just made them a little bit silver gray. And there I'm just adding some highlights. So I've been asked recently to do some really fun commissions, so make sure to click the bell to be notified. If you're not subscribed already, I'd love it if you would subscribe to catch those videos. So here I'm using some, um, I'm working on the costume and I'm using some of this heat bond to fuse together these pieces of lavender and red fabric. And then I use some fabric puff paint to paint on the web detail. So that's all I recorded with the costume, but I did keep the costume simple and used a jumpsuit underneath. So as always, if you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and for all the great comments. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks. Bye.